Hey guys, Jonathan Wizard here for JM Sports 100 and the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I am here to preview the action for week 6 in the 2015 NFL season. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills. The Cincinnati Bengals, of course, come into this game 5-0. and They are 2-0 and on the road. The Buffalo Bills come into this game 3-2. and And they are 1-2 and at home. The big story from this game, for the Buffalo Bills at least, is the quarterback that's played pretty well for them this year. Tyrod Taylor uh, is downgraded to doubtful at this point. He probably will not go. E.J. Manuel will go in his place uh, if if Tyrod Taylor cannot go. And Manuel, 6-8 in his career as a starter. And uh, hasn't started in over a year. Things obviously have been great. You know, E.J. Manuel at one point was drafted to be the future of this Buffalo Bills team. It obviously looks like that is not um, anywhere close to being in the works anymore. So uh, we will have to see. Meanwhile, on the other side, you've got Andy Dalton. And you've got. I just want to say one more thing about the Bills, actually. The one positive that they do have, there's a negative and a positive. It looks like they're probably not going to have LaShawn McCoy again this week. He was practicing, but it looks like he probably will not play. However, for the first time in two games, they will have Sammy Watkins back at wide receiver, so that'll be big for them, although it sounds like he will be in a limited role. Meanwhile, you look at the Cincinnati team, and the Cincinnati team just continues to roll. We saw. Great playing down the stretch from Andy Dalton last week against a good Seattle Seahawks defense. Andy Dalton was really able to move the ball well. The Bengals were down 17 in that game at one point. If you remember, uh, we took Cincinnati in that game to win straight up. And for a while watching that game, I was thinking, boy, what was I thinking? But uh, Cincinnati was able to get it done and looked pretty good doing it. Looked pretty good doing so. Uh... Giovanni Bernard, you know, I think is is gonna have to be big for this game, um, and Tyler Eifert is gonna continue to, have to be great, big, and AJ Green's gonna have to be big. You know, those are those are uh, the three main Cincinnati weapons. Meanwhile, let's talk about Buffalo again just for a second. Uh, I took the Titans last week to beat the Bills, and it was a bit of of a, of a shock pick, I think, to, to people, and it was a shock pick to me, even, uh, to be honest, when I did it, and uh, Tennessee almost pulled it off, and then and then Buffalo, uh, Buffalo came back late. Here's the truth about Buffalo. I think we're seeing that they're, that they're not really much of a contender. Obviously, they're not a contender in the AFC East because of the New England Patriots. Now, I don't think... Here's the deal about the Buffalo Bills defense. The Buffalo Bills defense is really good. Shocker, shocker. Rex Ryan is the head coach. Rex Ryan has good defensive teams. I think the Buffalo Bills are going to shut down the Cincinnati Bengals a little bit in this game. I don't think we're going to see the high-powered Bengals offense that we've seen so far, if you can call it high-powered. I don't think we're going to see uh, that. Um... So, you know, you you look at it, the Buffalo Bills defense is only averaging about 82 to 83 yards a game, uh, which is third in the NFL. So this Bills defense is really, really good. I do think that they are going to be able to, uh, 83 uh, against the run, I, I should say. Um, and I... I think the Buffalo Bills are going to be able to quiet the Cincinnati Bengals a little bit. Uh, the thing is... I don't expect the Bills to do much offensively, uh, especially with E.J. Manuel in your center instead of Tyrod Taylor. So I do have the uh, Bengals winning this game, but I do think it will be a fairly close one. We are 0-1 on the week this week. We are coming off an 8-6 and week last week. We really are struggling to figure out this Thursday night football thing. Uh, Atlanta is no longer in the undefeated ranks. They struggle offensively. They struggle defensively. And I stand by what I said with Atlanta uh, not being as good of a team as the record shows. They lost 31-21 to the Saints last night. So as I said, 0-1 on the week, 8-5 and in Week 5. And 8-6 and in Week 5, rather. And that will make us 45-33 and on the year. 8-14, 4-77, and 3 is our lifetime record. 
Don't forget to like the Damn Sports Show page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links, as always, are down in the description. And that is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan Mozart for Damn Sports 100 and the Damn Sports Show. This has been a preview for Sunday's matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills. And I will see you guys later.